All right, guys, this is Frank from uh, Blog of Manly doing the series for the Doomsday Gym called Manly Road Trip Workouts. This is segment two. Yesterday was called Get Your Gear, and today we're going to show you how to use your gear. We're going to review what gear that is uh, real quick. Okay? As you can see, I got a chain. Now, that's just a standard tow chain you can get in most any auto parts store. Uh, sometimes you can get it in places like Harbor Freight or other places like that. Doesn't cost that much. Uh, weighs about 20 pounds. It's a handy item to have. You never know when you might need a chain uh, when you're driving somewhere. But it's also a great tool for training. Let me show you the next thing. If you don't have a chain, then I recommend you get a tow strap. Okay? Now this is legit okay this thing holds a lot of weight and this is not as long as uh, the chain or the rope but this will work okay get your loops on each end those are going to come in real handy for you last thing we have is a rope about an inch and a half in diameter now this one's maybe 10 12 feet long but all you really need is maybe six feet maybe at the most eight feet those are the things that you're going to need. So, those things in conjunction with body weight give you a tremendous training session, even in 15, 20 minutes. But you got to, uh, when you get going, I mean, you got to focus on it, you got to do it. Okay, you got to do it with intensity. So, make sure wherever you're training, uh, if you're at a rest stop, a rest area someplace, or a park when you're traveling, first thing you need to get is water. If you don't already have it, make sure you got water with you. Now, if you're traveling in the southern states, I'm in southwest Florida. Uh, you know, to say it's hot in southwest Florida would be a pretty uh, bold understatement. Uh, we normally in the summer will stay with the heat index somewhere around 110, 115 degrees. Lots of fun. I love it here. Anyway, you've got to hydrate. Get your water. Okay, I'm going to set up and show you what's next. All right, man, we're going to start off warming up. We're going to take the chain, get the middle of it, we're going to get it around the neck, like so. We're going to start off with, body, with a chain squat. Okay, now you can hold the end so they don't uh, flog you as you're doing your exercises, or you can just let them hang. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. When you're doing your squats, you want to get the hips below the knees, okay? So when you're dropping down, chest up, hips back, get down there, and back up, okay? Get your squats. These are a good warm-up. I like to put the arms out as I'm going down, bring them back as I'm coming back up again. Now, there's only about 20 pounds on me right now. It's not very much, but if you do enough of them, well, if you do them real fast, once you get warmed up, you're going to know that you've got something going on. All right, guys, I'm going to show you another way to use a chain on your squats. If you have any kind of neck problems, I want you to use this other position instead. So look over here for a minute. Okay, you put it on the regular way, you change right up here on top of the tra trapezius muscles. What you can do is take it, slide it back like this. When you have it in that position, then you go ahead and get your squats, and it's not going to be on your neck. Okay, so we're getting some more squats over here. Going down, back up. Okay, very basic exercise. Squat. Okay, guys, we're going to look at the next piece of equipment. Uh, we're going to take the rope. Now, I have a fixed object here to attach it to. It's got a smooth surface, which is important. Uh, round is best, but other shapes with this smooth will work. But uh, look for something round if possible. All right. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to continue on with your warm-up, and then you can also actually turn that into part of the training uh, as you uh, ramp up the intensity. All right. So we're going to show you some uh, pulling exercises for the upper body, some rowing uh, with two arms and with uh, one arm at a time alternating. Okay. What I've done here, so I've got the rope wrapped around this post. I've got about three wraps around it like so, and I've got the end extending back. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to raise it up, up here first. We're going to look at some recline rows. Okay, recline rows coming from here. Okay, what we're going to do is lean back, tighten the lat muscles, and then pull the body up like this. You want to make sure your feet are firmly planted so you don't slide. Just like this. Now, depending on the angle of incline, that will determine how hard the pull is. Okay, now we're going to let the rope come down. What we're going to do is look at alternating pulls. Okay? So one arm at a time, we're going to get back down, get a solid position. We're going to pull one arm, then the other arm, like so. This is also a great exercise if you want to, if you're not able to do pull-ups yet, but you want to build up to it, this is a good way to get strong enough to do them. Kind of shift so you can see better. Okay, man, we're going to move on to push ups with the chain. Okay, now you can adjust how much weight uh, that you're applying by how much of the chain is in the air at the top of the push up. With this chain here, if all of it's off the ground, it's 20 pounds. If half of it's off the ground, it's probably 10. And you can adjust it accordingly to how you position it. So take a look and uh, make sure when you're doing your push ups, Keep the elbows tucked, the hands flared out slightly, and uh, don't go wide up here. This is not a good push-up position up here, all right? That's going to uh, be a lot worse on your shoulders over the course of time. So, take a look. We'll show you what's next. Okay, now that's not that heavy, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double up on the chain so we have more of the chain off the ground at the top of the push-up. Be careful when you're putting it behind your neck. 
Oh, so don't smack yourself in the head. All right. This is a tiny bit heavier now. Elbows in, back straight, nice and tight, like so. All right, men, we're going to get some pull-ups next. All I've done now is throw the rope over a uh, fixed object, and now we're going to have a position to pull from. So stand by. Get up there, grab hold of the rope, and pull. Pretty simple exercise. Got a look at the rope pull up from a little different angle. I'm also going to show you how you can use your toe strap the like manner. We'll get to the toe strap next. Okay, when you got your rope, remember no jumping, no jiggling around. Just get your body tight and then you're going to pull. You have a good grip, crush grip the rope. Like so. Now, if you don't have the rope, you got your toe straps. Okay, we're looking at the same thing. A little bit different grip because it's a strap instead of a rope, it's flat. Okay, you might have to roll it up a little bit so it doesn't cut into your hands. Okay, from here, same thing. And pull. You'll find they're harder than a rope pull up because of the way the surface area is. Okay, on to the next thing. All right, guys, now we're going to get the strap pull up again. I'm going to show you a different grip. Now, this is the good one. If your grip strength is not quite up to holding on to the main body of the strap, we're going to use the loops at the end. Now, on this setup, I don't really have enough height to be able to stand at full height and reach up and get in the loop and my arms still be straight. So I'm going to crouch down so my arms are still fully extended before I pull. But this time my hands are going to be in the loops. Okay, so look over here. It's a loop right here. I can rest my wrist on it. <coughs> and then I put my hand right in there. Okay, so from here, now we can pull like so. Okay, the loop is a good assist until the hands get strong enough. When the hands get strong enough, you won't need to use the loop anymore. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this session up. Now, if you notice, I'm sporting my Blog of Manly Dangerous t-shirt. And I tell you what, you need to stay dangerous. You need to stay dangerous to mediocrity and laziness and being unhealthy, okay? You need to be dangerous against those things and the apathy that's in our culture. All right, men. It's up to you. Be manly. Stay dangerous. Watch the next section. Okay. Out for now.